Hey guys, so you are looking at a SIG length oscilloscope. So this is model number SDS1104X-E. Right, so we're looking at the signal here. This is a PWM signal that I did a video earlier. Uh, how to generate a PWM signal using a, a, a nuclear board, an STM32 microcontroller. So I was using a TDS Tektronics model 2004, which is quite an old oscilloscope, but it still performed quite well in terms of the basic measurement that you need to, to do. I got this one from a friend uh, who decided to lend it to me just for a period of time. So I have to give it a spin uh, in terms of just to get started with it. And I'm excited about what I can measure with this oscilloscope here. There is our PWM signal. And if I hit on measure, right? Okay, I've already got measure selected. But you can turn measure off because you can see the menus here, right? So when I hit on measure, the menu is highlighted. So if I click on source here, you can select which channel do you want to do your reading as you can see there i'm reading on channel one okay and the type of measurement you can also select here basically you will have all sort of measurement in which you can choose to basically select okay so this is the measurement and right now i'm on trigger so my trigger voltage is set at 2.3. So you can see as you change it, once you go out of the 3.3 volt, that's my PWM amplitude, then the signal start moving, right? Then you can come back. Now, if you also want to play around with your signal, right now it's on pause, which it's still measuring, but obviously you can increase the speed okay i've reached the horizontal guys i'm trying just to get a, a feel of this oscilloscope now you can go on the other side as well so it is quite a good oscilloscope and if i hit my microcontroller so now i press a reset on my microcontroller so i cannot get any signal i have to release a reset to get a signal going if i want to stop it again I just hit a stop there. Let's see a uh, measure. Then let's show all the measurement. Okay. Measure function is off. Okay. Let's turn it on. And then show all the measurement. Right. You can see all the measurements are now available. So now let's move our signal down. Right, so we need to move the signal down so we can see the measurement perfectly here. Okay, so now we can observe that our signal, PWM signal here, have a peak-to-peak -peak, uh, voltage of 3.45, right? And the, the maximum is 3.5. The means is 2.3. The amplitude is 3.3. Let's look at the duty circle. So if you see the duty circle, right, we've got a plus duty. Plus duty right here says 70.3%. So we did uh, program our board to have a 70% duty circle. And on this left hand side here, you can see we've got a negative duty of 29 and now if you look at the period as well, so it will be divided equally. So the positive width period is 73 uh, microsecond and the negative is 30 microsecond. Now remember, this is a 10 kilohertz signal. Okay, so which means the period is 100 microsecond, one full period. So you have to add the 73 plus the 30 to give you a 100 microsecond period. Okay, so that's basically that in terms of all we can pick up here there is just too many things for us we can read here so the time rise is about 38 nanoseconds 
and the time fall is about 36 but basically the same so it's a perfect signal there is no uh lagging so this is it guys um for a sneak peek of these six six um oscilloscope a digital storage oscilloscope so i'm going to put a link in the description box for anyone who want to acquire this oscilloscope and give it a go you are more than welcome and certainly there is plenty of functionality as you can see this oscilloscope is 100 megahertz so it's a dual one giga sample per second so it's a lot that you can do with that kind of capabilities all right so that is it guys thank you once again for watching if you find something useful please thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers